We are right smack dab in the middle of round one of the playoffs, race number two. All we need to do right now is figure out what driver will be leading the field of the green flag. We had an issue qualifying there. Uh, we were P8 the first round on our second lap, but uh, coming to the checker, he drove it into the fence and really did a lot of damage to the right side of the car. There was no way that we were going to have a competitive race car unless we fixed the damage. We were able to fix the body, but at that point, any adjustment you do to the car is unapproved, so we had to start in the back. You know, knew I got a great bunch of guys, and they all got in there and got everything fixed the way that it needed to be fixed, it seems, and was able to do a really good job for me to be able to contend for the win. It is electric here at Richmond Raceway this evening. There's so much going on. It's not a cutoff race, but most of these guys down there who are in the playoffs, they're looking at it almost like a playoff race because the Roval lies ahead. From a driver's standpoint, I got to believe the pressure's on. Long race, a lot of laps. Take care of our stuff. We did it in the spring. We'll do it again tonight. Pace car has hit the pit road. Here comes the field off turn number four. Ready, go, go. Car fired off pretty good in stage one. First few laps were pretty good. T16, really nice work. As that run progressed, you know, the car wasn't feeling necessarily as good as I would hope that it would have. A little loose into three, but then tight centers both in. You're making good time, so we don't need a lot here. Just put it on cruise control. Just kind of seemed like we weren't able to continue to make ground on the guys ahead of us, but obviously we were to pretty good competition by that point. Truex is going to be able to hold him off, coming off turn number four, scoring his ninth stage win. Pretty good first segment there. I know we didn't score any points, but we were a long ways back, past a lot of cars. Keep chopping wood here, buddy. We'll get up there. Ready? Go, go. Big jump for Martin Truex Jr. gets him back out safely into the lead. The cars were definitely harder to pass in stage two when we kind of got mired about 10th or 12th. I think we went the wrong way on some adjustments. I, I wanted to be better turning in the center of the corner, and we certainly got that, but we were way too loose. Now it's just back loose all the way through as you burn the rear tires off of it. You kind of always got to stay under the mindset of Darlington, like run your own race, run your own pace, do your own thing, focus on you, and not focus on what's happening around you. All right, free checker. Martin Truex Jr., he wins stage number two here tonight. Pits be open. Five, four, three, two, one here. We kind of doubled up on the changes and got a little bit more aggressive and gained a few spots on pit road. And that little spark was the, just the push we needed to drive ourselves toward the front. P7, where we go? Green flag goes back in the air. Don't look now. There may be a new player before this thing is all said and done. Kyle Busch back inside the top five, I think for the first time here tonight. At the start of that segment, you know, I really felt good about the car we had. He started at the rear of the field tonight, has had a few setbacks, but now Kyle Busch has taken the lead. It takes a while to get to the lead. You know, you start in the back and you work your way through and you get stuck a few times. At that point in the race, we had a good long run car, so the race just kind of played right into our hands. We battled the two car. I knew he was pushing hard, so when he got to my outside, I just kind of let him go. Run your pace, your race. I really felt like we had a lot better car on the long run than they did. If we could go 25 or 30, we could get around them pretty easy without really stressing our tires too much. But Kyle got there a little sooner when the two still had speed and used it up a little bit more than I'd like to see him use it up. Keselowski and Kyle Busch, the harder they fight, the closer Kevin Harvick gets. You see him struggling. You were better than him. Pace ourselves here. We had a spirited battle there for a few laps. Kind of had to regroup. I wore my tires out, got them hot, and was starting to slide a little bit too much. Finally, it was like his car hit a switch. I knew I needed to go. Here we go again, the battle for the lead. This one's over quickly. Kyle Busch, back to the point. My hand came out the window because I raced with him for whatever how many laps it was. Didn't touch the guy. The instant I clear him, he hits me in the rear bumper coming off a of turn two. And I'm like, really, dude? Come on. Kyle, once again, just trying to get away. He is seven tenths of a second in front of Kevin Harvick. It was super concerning the last 15 laps. He closed that gap. Nose to tail, back into turn number two. I knew why he was running me down, because I had to run so hard to get by the two car. But I was hoping that the race was going to come to the close before he got to me. Kyle Busch half a lap away from the worst to first performance. Way to do it, guys. Kyle Busch wins. He sweeps the two cup races at Richmond in 2018. Hell yeah. Richmond sweep, boys.
That's the way you do it, right there. Appreciate it, Green Car. Good work. You got it, buddy. Thanks for letting us work on it, man. Way to dig. Tonight, we won our 50th Cup win. That's pretty awesome. You know, it's great to be with the team and the group of guys that I'm with right now with Adam Stevens and the bunch of guys we got. It was Kyle's 50th win. It's been such fun to work with him. Kyle's a future Hall of Famer, and he's going to have a lasting legacy in this sport, and to be a small part of it's really fun. To tie guys like Ned Jarrett and those in the Hall of Fame that have been that successful, you're getting into pretty good company these days, and it feels pretty awesome. So hopefully we keep climbing that ladder and keep going in the right direction.